let's hop into uh, technology news for this week. Yes. What say ye? Well, first of all, the Star Trek Online Open Beta is live, and Trekkies around the galaxy oh. are already playing. The Open Beta is now open for free. All you need to do is sign up for a free File Planet account. The Open Beta will run for two weeks starting today, and will run through star date 63538.0, which is to say Tuesday, January 26th. Visit StarTrek.Category5.TV to register. Live long and prosper. Did you do it? <laughs> there oh, we go. I got it. Good got going. It. <laughs> well done. Lenovo started their stuff at CES last week, demoing its brand new IdeaPad U. You won. You won. You won. A netbook tablet hybrid. The monitor detaches from the keyboard, providing a slate-like tablet experience. The tablet runs a custom Linux distro on the Snapdragon processor with 512 megabyte RAM. Within seconds of reattaching the monitor to the base, the device switches over to Windows 7 and can sport up to 4 gigs of RAM. The cost of this 2-in-1 device is only $1,000 US. Get ready for Boxy on your TV partner with D-Link. Boxy has announced its entry into the set-top multimedia boxing ring with BoxyBox. Drawing only 500 milliwatts of power, this tiny device is able to feed your HD TV with full HD quality video from the internet using a Linux-driven Boxy software bundle. To check out the new BoxyBox for yourself, visit dlink.com slash BoxyBox. And that's Box E with two E's. Attention KDE lovers, version 4.4 is about to hit a Linux computer near you. KDE 4.4 release candidate was released on Friday and we're quickly going to see the bugs worked out and a final release within a few weeks. This new release will offer a new set of applications, improvements to the Plasma desktop and many other improvements to help take KDE to the next level. For details, visit KDE.org. Nat Friedman, founder of Ximian, has stepped down his position as Chief Technology and Strategy Officer for Open Source at Novell. Following Ximian's takeover by Novell, Nat continued his work on the Evolution email application prior to being promoted. Now he's recently married, plans to travel the world with his wife, and will start a new business when he's done somewhere in the USA. How would you like a frame of fame? You can have a single frame in an upcoming music video. All you need is a webcam and a willingness to be considered an uber geek. Visit fame.category5.tv. The Category 5 TV newsroom is researched by Roy W. Nash with contributions from Jonathan Garby. If you have a news story you think is worthy of on-air mention, email newsroom at category5.tv.